Hey everybody, I'm Corbs and welcome to a new video where we're talking about the volume profile. Now, in this video, I'm going to be breaking down and just walking through the individual parts that make up a profile. This video isn't going to be about strategy or setups. There's a ton of videos on the channel that you can check out if you want to take this deeper. But the purpose of this video is just going to be for reference that I can come back to in other videos, especially if you're very new to the profile, just to understand the individual parts that make it up. So let's go ahead. We'll jump straight into this video and I'll start breaking down the individual parts that make up a volume profile. All right, everybody, jumping into the screen, we have a volume profile, just pretty much front and uh, focal. Now, what I want to walk through is just the parts that make this up. So looking at it, we have the low of the profile here. We have the high of the profile here. And the high and the low in the profile are just going to be the time frame that you're looking at this on. It's going to be the, the high and the low of where price traded. So in this case, this is a daily profile. So of the day from our start of day until now, this is the high and the low of that session. Now, looking at the middle of the profile, there's this, this pretty large gray area. This gray area represents value. Now, value is where 68 to 70% of all the trading took place, or the first standard deviation. So if you look at the high and the low, every level in between, there was buying and selling that happened. And of all the buying and selling that occurred for this session, 68 to 70% of it happened right inside of here, inside of value. Now, once we get outside of value, the profile turns blue in this case, and this is just showing us everything else where the other 30% or so of trades took place uh, as you get second and third standard deviation um, away from this first standard deviation or value. Now, there's only a couple other things to really point out about the profile. Um, you'll notice near the top of this one, there's this magenta line that just runs straight through and it's solid. That magenta line is what we call the point of control. You'll see it abbreviated as the POC. Now, the point of control represents the single price where the most buying and selling happened. So again, we have the high and the low. Every price in between here, there was trading that occurred. But every profile, there's going to be one price that was the most popular or where the most buying and selling happened. So in this case, the point of control is right here uh, at the 39.47.25. This is where the most buying and selling happened. Now, the only other thing to point out about the profile is going to be this red line that's running through like this. It kind of looks like a moving average, uh, but this isn't a moving average. This red line that's running through and is changing, that is what we call VWAP. VWAP is not necessarily a part of the profile, but in my opinion, it is, and all my profiles have these on them. The VWAP, as you can see here uh, with the label, it stands for the volume weighted average price. Now, VWAP is not the most popular price that traded, and of all the trading that happened, it's not where the most, we know that's the POC, but this is the average of what people are paying. So we can see that the high of this profile is around the 39.52, and the low of this profile is around the 39.35. And of all the buying and selling that happened, some of these levels, there's less volume, some of these levels, there's much more volume. But if we took all the buying and selling that occurred, the average price from the 35.52 to the 39.35, the average people are paying is 39.43.67. Um, and that is VWAP. It's the volume weighted average price. So as this develops, uh, VWAP changes. And right now it's just sitting right close to the center, which is a pretty usual spot to find it. Okay, and that's gonna be it for the volume profile. In this video, we covered the value area. We looked at what happens outside of that first standard deviation. We covered the point of control and we also covered VWAP. If you're looking for additional videos about the volume profile, there's a ton on the channel that you can go and check out. We'll wrap up this video pretty quick. It was meant to be fast and I'll see you guys in the next video.